what's going on everybody and we are logging on to episode 113 uh this is probably the earliest we've ever done a podcast it's nine in the morning yep and uh with that said i am joined my co-host as always luke gans good morning my friend good morning hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing good you'd think i had like a like a rough night <laughs> plot twist i don't drink but like i guess i like take on other people's drinking when sure. they're like they're you know you, I, you get you take I their absorb, energy right yeah, in the mornings I absorb their hangover and like ah. if my fiance drank like a lot the night before I'll wake up I'm like oh my god I'm hurting I'm like <laughs> fucking had like eight ginger ale what the fuck's wrong with me you know it's called uh, diabetes you're having a sugar rush you know. But, uh, no, I mean, yeah, the, the earliest we've ever done one of these. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about it, but coming off a Giants win, Big yep. Blue, it's, it's big, it's huge. I love brand. that hat, too. Thank you, way. bro. This one. is um, 47 brand, so 47 brand, sponsor the pot. All right. <laughs> nice. Um, Giants weren't the only thing that, uh, hap- that happened last no. night. The Last of Us. Premiere. Oh, I didn't watch. It. I didn't watch I, it yet either. I heard awesome things. I heard, I awesome heard things it was too. fucking crazy. I mean, it'll be a it, it'll be a today watch. Same. Same. Um, yeah. I've actually been watching a ton of stuff. Like, I was actually gonna like bring it up with you. Like, White Lotus. I don't. Yeah, it's watch that. It? No, I haven't. But okay. that's been winning awards at Golden Globes, yep. the Critic Choice Awards. White, last White night. Lotus is funny because it's one of those shows that it's, they're like everyone likes, but I don't know if ever anyone loves it. Like, it's like, mm. oh my god, it's the show of the year. Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I had a blast watching it. Yeah. But like, you watch it and you're like, okay, it's good, but is it great? You know what I mean? I really enjoy it. I like it. I mean, it's uh, it's Mike White. Yeah, so, I do like him a lot. Mike, I know him Mike from uh, School, School of Rock. Rock. Yeah, yeah which you're doing a reboot of. Did you hear I've that? Heard, I heard about uh, the reboot that's, of that. Apparently, yes. that would be awesome. That I would love be awesome, every man. part of that. That'd be so cool. Yeah, the, the White Lotus is only on its first season right second now, right? Season. Oh, it's on its second yeah, season Yeah, so this now. was the second. Basically, the White Lotus is a chain of really expensive hotels. Oh. And every time, like these people travel to them, something happens, but it's not the same people every time. Yeah. Just uh, Jennifer Coolidge's character was season one and season two that was the same character. Gotcha. Season one was a different cast, season two was a different cast. Um, but yeah, so... But it was, I mean, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Like, as much as it sounds like I might be saying I, don't, I didn't like it, I loved it. It was a really good show. Yeah. Um, I just like... I, I mean, I'd, I'd love to say there's other better shows, but I, I don't even know that. You know, I'd have to sit sure. down and say, like, Stranger Thing. Well, no, White Lotus was 2022. So we might have to go back and do a, a, our favorite shows of 2022. 100%. I'd have to do that. 100%. Because I've been watching way too much TV. <laughs> and I still want to fight you on the Wednesday comments. Yeah. But, you know, it, it is what it is. All right, so a little snafu with the Ooh. audio recording. We'll be doing the camera rec- uh, audio recording only. Um, we're doing our top five three D movies of all time. This is going to be a, at least for me a throwback list. Yeah. Uh, for me, I, I'm assuming for you as well. Uh, uh yeah. For the most part, I yeah, think there's the a most couple. Three D is weird. I I I hate three D movies. I hate three D too. I hate three D movies so much. Um, I mean, like in concept, it's an awesome uh, nostalgia thing. Like yeah. it definitely brings back crazy nostalgia. Like it's like a great serotonin hit of like, oh man, when you were a kid and you went into the theater and you got the glasses. Yeah. But like yeah. I look back and I'm like, oh my God, it was fucking painful. The thing it with was... 3D movies with me is that like you have those glasses on for such a long time, like I get headaches. Oh, uh, and 10 not minutes even, in. 10 minutes in. Like, 10 minutes in. For two reasons. Like having those glasses on the whole time, like you feel it. In, well, like, dude, it was the, the prop. Top Remember it was like they didn't have them straight. Remember the old ones were they fucking were curved. They were paper, but right? Do, no, do you remember the plastic curved ones? They had ones that oh, were yes, like, the, the, dude, like they the were black. shaped like this and they had like prongs in the side of your head. Oh no, I don't remember Bro, that. Bro, I gotta look up a photo. It was like the glasses and you put them on and they literally used to like poke into the back. I got I'll find them. Yeah, yeah, please do. What? No, but the, the, that's a reason they give me headaches and then just like, I mean, it's visually stunning, especially nowadays with 3D, but even that, like stuff popping out of you, it's like you're on a roller coaster and a roller coaster for over an hour is not good for anyone. I don't no, think it no. gives you headaches but and everything. But that's why, like, like, that. um, like the Dolby is so much better. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. when you go see, like, Do- just go to a Dolby theater and you're yeah. gonna get as as good of a view as you would have anywhere else. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. But anyway, before we get into that top five list, we're gonna get into our poll of the pod. So oh, let's get right into. It. 
Um, so this one, I actually have some beef with the results. Oh. Um, I'm pretty passionate about this one. That's why I put it as the poll for this pod. Are you a... But yeah, yeah. But oh my god. So You're... the the poll of the pod for this week was Twizzlers or Red Vines. What would you rather eat? Which one is your favorite? I'm actually going to share the results first and then we'll get into our mm. opinions. Um, so Twizzlers won with 79%. Accurate. Red Vines lost with only 21%. It was actually a, a big landslide, to be honest with yeah. you, as, it, as you could Deservedly tell. Deservedly so. I get. Uh, I mean, Twizzlers are definitely more well known for sure, and the, you know they they earn that right, definitely. But I have some fun facts for for you and the audience <laughs> about Red Vines because I'm a Red Vines guy. Every time I go to the movie theaters, which by the way, that's where they they mainly could be found. Anyway. I was gonna say you probably it's are really only just finding the them there in like a Walmart or something, you know? Just yeah, like right. Um, but I love Red Vines. They do have the Twizzler option at the movie theaters, too, but I always go with the Red Vines. Anyway, Red Vines came out first in 1920 when Twizzlers came out well after that, like 1977, actually. Oh, wow. So Red Vines came first, and I'm a raspberry guy, not a strawberry guy. Oh, I'm a strawberry guy. Yes, Red Vines are raspberry, essentially Ooh. raspberry. In fact, they were used to be called the classic raspberry vines before they were oh, called red vines. Before red vines. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they're so much better, dude. I, I, I just like the taste and the texture of so it. So much better, so, though? Yeah, That's... so much better. Even though they're still kind of the same thing, like, there, there's, like, not a doubt. In, what I'm saying is there's not a doubt in my mind that I would choose red vines I over might be, Twizzlers. I might be, like, a serial killer here with this take, but, like, I actually like chocolate Twizzlers a lot. Oh, yeah, that's weird. That's weird, man. Yeah, I think I might be a serial killer. Um, <laughs> no, well, dude, um... Are you a black licorice guy? No. Me neither. No, 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 not no. Dude, all. have you had chocolate Twizzlers, though? I have not, and nah, I don't dude, want they're pretty, to, no, They're pretty good. They're pretty good. I promise you. They're not really? as bad as you think. They're not. Like, once you get past, I think, like, the texture of... I mean, again, maybe we'll put up a poll. Do you like chocolate Twizzlers? Yeah, it might have to be a follow-up. I'll do it right now. <laughs> I'll do it right now on yeah, mine yeah, or see. on yours. Let's see Let's see how many uh, votes let's we see. get by the end of the let's episode. Let's see what we do. Yeah. I will put this up. I All have right. a word. Um... Yeah, but you're crazy. No, dude, I'm telling no, you. No, I don't think you're. Vines, I don't think it's that bad. I think it's not. It's not that bad. I don't know if you saw the message that Dan sent on the podcast Instagram, no. but he was like, "What even are red vines, you boomer?" I was like, <laughs> "Dude, I'm telling you, they're better than Twizzlers, bro." And then Dan was like, "Yeah, they probably are, cause Twizzlers suck anyway." So okay, that that was a hot take from him. That was I, a hot take. I from enjoy him. Twizzlers. I could just sit. I don't know if it's me or whatever, but, like, I just remember sitting at, like, just sitting by the pool or sitting, like, you know, like, in the summertime just chilling and yeah. just having a fucking Ziploc bag with the Twizzlers right, already open. Yeah, like, yeah. they were already open, but, like, we'd put them back in a Ziploc yeah, bag yeah, and we'd yeah. do it that way. Dude, I... You guys are crazy. My dad used to pick up Twizzlers I all the Twizzlers, time. He dude. loves them as well, too. Yeah. Um, all right, we got it up. Our... This will be the first of the pod. This is like a live poll going on right now. Uh, during the filming of an episode. Yeah, dude, that's, that's pretty cool. That's We're, we're innovative here. We're we innovative are innovative here. here. Um, I actually did have a... This is um, off topic, but I do have a funny story to tell you this morning that I think you would enjoy. Sure. So... Last night, like I said, the, the, so the Giants played, and um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, a lot of people will probably see my video of me absolutely having a meltdown in a good way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah, it was a great video. But, uh, you know, I, I just, like, I was trying to go to bed last night, and you know when you're, like, tired, but you're so wired from, like, From whatever just happened, yeah, that excitement. you just can't? Yeah. Dude, I was just fucking wired. Mm. I went into bed, it was, like, 11 o'clock, it wasn't even bad. I, like, go into bed, and, dude, I'm just tossing, I'm turning, I'm, like, I'm, like, almost having anxiety trying to go to sleep. I'm, yeah. like, I can't fucking go to bed. I'm, like, turning, tossing, and my dog is a... 60 pound pit that's he's tiny enough but like sometimes when he's in the bed bro it's just he like my fiance could be taking up 70 percent. he could be at like five percent yeah and the only thing you're feeling is his five percent because he's just a body <laughs> yeah, so like, fuck yeah. it. i don't even care dude <laughs> i i might be the only one that also does this but like when you're uncomfortable i didn't even go into my living room dude i went onto my floor 
I like positioned all of like Ooh, our decorative okay. pillows on the ground and just oh. fell right fell right asleep, dude. Might within, have to try that within like ten seconds. Ah. So my dog wakes me up at four in the morning because my fiance on Mondays she goes into work really early. Yeah. I don't even remember being awake at all. Mm -hmm. I don't remember it at all. Oh, like Until moving to the floor? Moving into the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> you she, slept on the kitchen Listen to me. Floor? No, no, no. Listen. <laughs> okay. So I'm on the floor. She's out doing stuff. Yeah. The dog wakes up to go want to be with her, so I hear him crying, so like she lets him out. She spills her coffee in the, in the kitchen. Oh, okay. I do not remember waking up, opening the door, going into the kitchen, and helping her. The only thing I remember is waking up, cleaning the fucking floor, and going... <laughs> What the fuck? Dude, I woke up, I just texted her, I'm like, so I hope you know, like, I woke up and I thought I threw up all over the kitchen floor. I woke up, so like, don't remember it, and I just literally was like this, like, woke up with my hand back trying to grab another paper towel yeah. for her to clean, I was like, what and doing? I was just trying to keep my cool and not acknowledge that I woke up and had no fucking clue what was going yeah, on, so yeah. I was like, okay, <laughs> kept cleaning it. Threw it all out, walked the dog, came back in, went back to bed, and then I just acknowledged it to her now. I'm like, so like, I do not remember anything until I, it was literally like a Moon Knight kind of a situation. I was like just when gonna he wakes say, up, it like, sounds like a show. After he like, murdered like 25 people, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, except me, I'm like, huh, <laughs> did I just, I literally was like, did I just throw up? Okay, just keep your cool. She's not yelling. I was like, she's not yelling at you, so it's not you. Yeah, right, right, right. Cleaning it. I'm like, <laughs> okay, great. I'm going to get out of here. And I went and walked the dog, went back into the room. I was like, what the fuck happened? But I thought you would find that funny. I was like, that is pretty I think funny. a part of me was just like so exhausted that I was like, I guess this is, I guess this is Did, who I you am. You didn't have you coffee know? yet? Either in your no, defense, dude, yeah, no, that's a big, was, that's a big I was factor just too. I would up, say. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, I was immediately. Right now we're 50, 50, 50 on the votes. All right. so it's a pretty good tie. Did you vote already? No, I didn't. I you mean, should vote. Yeah, yes. yeah. I no, no, no. Right you should now. vote yes. Vote no. Why? But you've never had them, so you shouldn't even be voting. Oh, the cho Oh, you're right. I w I can't vote then. I can't vote at all then. That would be <laughs> no, a, an unbiased, <laughs> unbiased thing. He's uh, trying to skew the numbers! Yeah, yeah, for real. <coughs> um, oh, so there was one thing I wanted to bring up, too, about The Last of Us premiering last night and all the great reviews that it was getting and everything mm -hmm. like that. Uh, I am so happy how video game movies and shows and projects alone have progressed tremendously mm -hmm. and getting great reviews. I mean, I think, I think, like, Hollywood is starting to figure out the right formula yeah. in, like, I think two big factors, like... Choosing the right IP, first off, 100%. to make the movie 100%. or show, and then what you're going to leave in and leave out to make the movie and show yeah, work. I, I think it's also who's in charge of it, right? Like Absolutely. You've heard me talk about it a million times with like Dave Filoni. Yeah, with Star Wars. Kathleen Kennedy versus Dave Filoni. Oh. Kathleen Kennedy is obviously the person in charge, so it's different, yeah. but she doesn't know lore. Right. She doesn't know... The stories, and she doesn't have the passion behind it like Dave Filoni does. Like you can tell, Dave Filoni loves working with Star Wars. Absolutely, you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's like I'd always rather have someone there mm -hmm. than someone that's like, oh well, you know, we're we're Star Wars. Like imagine Marvel didn't care about the cohesive storyline. Right. Uh, it would kind of like DC. Kind of like how just, DC. Right. No, you're right though. I know, you're I know. absolutely right. Well, they just that. You know, I mean, that's a whole other fucking box we got to unpack, but. Like, you know, well, one thing I'll say about that, since you <laughs> did just open that up, DC wasn't even its own studio division with Warner I know, Brothers until yeah. recently. That's, Marvel Studios is, was always a thing. Which is even fu even more fucked up. It's yeah, like that yeah, just goes crazy. Again, listen, I'm I'm a DC hater, but I will be the first one to say that like they did not like Warner Brothers did not help them at all. No, like, not they, at all. They, they hurt it. They hurt them so much more. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just don't looking back, I don't get like after you made Iron Man. After yeah. you made Hulk, after you made what was it? It was Iron Man uh, two, I guess. Or, Iron Man two, and then, then uh, Thor, Captain, and then Captain Thor, America. Captain America. Yeah. After you saw all those movies come out, mm -hmm. did someone like at DC like there has to be looking back at it now like a guy at DC like a young kid or an intern that was like guys we should be doing something similar to what Marvel's doing right. and then someone was like no 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 don't listen to him we're doing it how we're doing it you know what yeah. I mean like. Like looking back, they're gonna they're gonna be like, oh my god, we absolutely fumbled the bag. Oh of yeah, like what, you know what I mean. Absolutely. Like, yeah. but that's it blows my mind, dude. Because I'm sitting there and I'm like, how did you manage mm. to do it this way 
for so for long. For so long. Yeah. And then again, it was just... It also doesn't make sense because it was so hit and miss. Exactly. Wonder Woman was such a hit. Yeah. Wonder Woman 2, such a miss. Yeah. Aquaman. Pretty big hit, pretty, actually. Pretty, pretty big it, hit, right? It hit the billion. The second one, hopefully, it's a it's a good one. But I like, right, so, yeah. it could be a miss. Could be a miss. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah. So it's like, it's just the, the consistency's not there, but... I was also going to say, isn't God of Wars, are they doing it, Amazon? It's Amazon. Amazon. Which That's I'm very excited very about, excited too. Very excited about that. Oh, and yeah. I'll, I'll even go to say, like, I'm going to watch The Last of Us show. Yeah. I didn't play both games. No, I didn't either. Yeah, but it I just looks the great. Fir- uh, what was it, the first one? I played parts of it because it came on my PlayStation however long ago. So yeah, my so PS3. It, oh, I got it with okay. my PS3 back. Oh, uh, no, wait, PS. Oh, God. Well, the PS5 came out with the like it came with uh, I think it was all my, the, that library yeah, of games. Yeah. Last of Us. Maybe is it was on my there. PS4. It might mm-hmm. have been my PS4 that I got it with. But regardless, yeah. yeah. Um, and same with God of War. Never played yeah. it, but I am a hundred percent watching that. Too. Well, that you know what that'll be interesting. Who they're Do casting? Jason Momoa. No, I'm thinking Dave Bautista, bro. I don't hate that. Yeah. Uh, I was actually going to also bring up to you, uh, Knock at the Cabin, Knock at the... Oh, my God. I think it looks so bad. Really? I, I think, think it, it looks, looks pretty good. I think the concept... Why do, you not like the, why do you not like the concept, though? That's an M. Night Shyamalan... That's so M. Night Shyamalan. 100% of it. Like, but then again, M. Night Shyamalan is like hit and miss with like his yeah. reveals well, at the what end was of the, movies. What was the newest one? I think, um, I think it was called Old. Old, yes. Yeah, where they were on the movie. On the island. It looked good concept, but that I don't did think look it good. ended it, up and being... And it didn't... Yeah, right. I, I think, I mean, like, I think it was like in the middle 50s, you know, somewhere Probably. in that range or whatever. I My thing with this is I, I, I think the concept looks interesting, right? It's like you go on a vacation... Mm. We're with talking about old or we're talking about no, no, Knock at the, the Cabin. Knock at the Cabin. Yeah, yeah. You go on a vacation with your adopted daughter in the middle of the woods, right? And yeah. then a, a cult just shows up of four people. I'm liking it that so That they're far. like, hey, yeah. if this doesn't happen, the apocalypse is going to live. And that's where they lost me big time. But why? I think it's the stupidest concept ever. But I, I your like... Your family, the- your specific family... One of you well, has I don't to think die. It's, I don't think it's more like I think it's more like the randomness is almost what makes it intriguing. Mm. Because it's not like they went to the president. It's not like they went. You know what I mean? Like it's not right. like the president has to sacrifice himself or the most popular person. It's like a random family. So there's going to be something that twists and turns us. And, 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 and I'm sure they'll make sense of it. You know why I am mad at it? Because why? they gave us the perfect amount without showing the trailers of like the tsunami hitting and the plane going down. Oh yeah. Like yeah. I wish they had kept it at, at that. Because if you keep it contained, especially in the trailers, I would have wanted to go just off the fact of like, okay, Curiousness they're like saying it's happening, but then you don't know externally if anything's happening. It's almost like uh, Cloverfield Lane, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. How they kept her inside. Yeah. You know what I mean? If Spoiler. But it's like that same concept. I would have so much rather the trailers not shown things actually happening. Oh, with the so that in the movie, when they're like, do you guys not believe us? Here's a clip. Yeah. Of literally a tsunami hitting right. and us needing to sacrifice someone. Right. So, right. but my question, I guess, then becomes is like, what is the significance about them? And then what is the significance about the four people? Because I don't know if you see, but it looks like they're about to sacrifice one of the four cult members. They're in the, in the trailer. trailer? Uh, yeah, I didn't, it looks I didn't like the redhead. That. I think, is it Ron Weasley? Yeah, it they is. They put Ron. a bag over his head and they're about to sacrifice him. Uh. So, part of me is like, all right, like if you're sacrificing him, why are you also picking someone to sacrifice? So right. it almost seems like, weirdly enough, it's a... I don't know if this is the right description. Noah's Ark, where you only take two of each, mm-hmm. every grouping of family members has to pick someone to sacrifice to offset the apocalypse. You know what I mean? I almost, I, I I would almost like took that it as better. that. I would like that yeah. better than what I think throughout their what it might is be. with exactly. just the yeah, one what family. It, what it might be. Yeah, See, I, it just it doesn't... I think it's such a... I think it's stupid, man. Well, I think he I just, think it's stupid. I think at this point, he just... He's tough because it's like he's kind of pa- obviously past his prime. 100%. And like, he's done too many money grabs in his in his yeah. life now where, like, they didn't work and they, it was whatever. And they didn't work or whatever. But Break, right? Was that... What was it? Oh, uh, I, Unbreakable. Unbreakable. Bruce Willis, and um, then they made Split. Unbreakable and, and then, Split um, and... Um, glass. And Glass. Those yeah. are solid. 
the only one I saw was Split. So, I loved it, solid. actually. Yeah, loved but that's it. what I'm saying. So, you know, he, he is weird because he goes up, he goes down, he goes up, he goes down. Yeah. So, like, is yeah. he riding an up or a down right now is where I'm sitting with this movie. Okay. Because it's like, he had those, mm -hmm. then he had old. Eh. So is that on the downturn, or is that just kind of like a bump where now he's going to go back up? I think, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't even say down or up. I think he just stayed... Very flat, mellow. Yeah, yeah. like flatlined yeah. into the next movie, like sort of deal. It almost seems like he tries too hard, if that makes sense. Without like I feel a like doubt. I feel like he could write stuff so easily, like not even pay any attention, just be like, yeah, let it fly. But I think it's that he like wants the demand of like the need and want to be like respected and loved by the people that I think he almost is hyper focused on it, and that's what sure. actually affects him writing better, if that makes sense. I'll be honest with you, I'm surprised he's even still doing this after yeah, yeah. The Last Airbender, bro. Like, that had to have been a wreck for him, like, wreck for him emotionally, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> but One of the worst movies ever. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and oh, one last movie I want to bring up, which I also think looks awful, but is actually getting pretty good reviews. Plane? You see the trailer I for have Plane? I no desire to see Plane. No desire to see no it. No desire to see Plane. But Gerard Butler, I actually kind of like, even though most of his movies I, I don't like. I feel like all of them are just like this movie. The same thing, yeah. Like He's the, same the type main of thing. protagonist that has to save all of the other people because he was an ex-military. Like, right, right. Okay. But the other guy I like a lot, uh, who um, played Luke Cage. Luke Cage, yeah. I, I, I like him a lot. He's in that other show, Evil, I think, too. I just think it looks so reviews. fucking corny. Yeah, I know. But it's getting but also, reviews. But we can also just start... I mean, we might as well, before we go into our main topic, we mm. might as well just like bash it out on uh, our Ant-Man takes because I know you are not oh, excited. And yeah. I, I am beyond excited. So Yeah, so what I'll say about Ant-Man is that... I don't think... I'm first off wasn't a fan of either trailer they released so far. Yeah, that's th I one. mean they didn't really do it for me like oh my god story wise, but like visually it looks great. Like it visually, in my opinion, it looks very intriguing to me. But I also don't know how they're planning on going with it, right? Like sure. besides like all like something happens, they get stuck inside the quant. It, great. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, there's not enough. For me to know just yet, how, how does Kang get involved? Which is, Why is which it, is your you know? typical Marvel trailer, exactly. not telling yeah, you anything. Exactly. Absolutely. Um, I think it does look visually stunning too, but mm -hmm. that's also part of my problem as well. Like the Ant Man movies, it was all like practical settings, like it was real settings and mm -hmm. everything. This whole entire movie, which the whole entire movie just looks like it was in front of a green screen or blue screen, and the green screen and blue screen, it's all over the place in this movie and. I love that for them. Yeah. But... But you don't. But I don't. I'd <laughs> yeah. much rather a practical setting, practical cost, you know, all that stuff. You know, yeah, I think... I, I don't know. I, th I, I understand it, but, like, I think we've known that f this was eventually going to happen. Like, he was going to make it to the... I mean, yeah, he's the only guy that can go inside it, like... What, into, like, like the quantum Size-wise, you know what I... Sure, you're like, right, you're right. What, are you going to put Thor in there? No. It doesn't make sense. What, are you going to put Captain America... Tony is the only one you could make an argument would have made sense in a quantum related sure, area. He could have but made besides that, if you would put anyone else, even if you put Vision, you put Wanda, none of them make sense. It wouldn't make sense. When You're you right. put Ant Man, Hank Pym, the whole point of their shit is like technology and stuff. Yeah. So it makes sense for them to go in. And I also think it makes a lot of sense because of the matchup. Uh, Ant -Man Kang versus, versus Ant Man is a wildly, wildly... Out there matchup. It is a wildly offset matchup. Offset which makes right. it more, Which makes it more exciting to me. Because mm. if it's Tony Stark versus Kang, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, Tony's going to put up a big For fight, sure. blah, blah, blah. Ant-Man is... We've never seen Ant-Man hold his own besides when he became a giant. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you're right. He's never right. done that. So that's why, like... To me, this is very intriguing to me. I also like Ant-Man's character. I love Paul Rudd. I think Paul Don't Rudd is awesome. Don't get me wrong. Awesome. I love him, too. He's, he's one of I favorites. think, one of the best. I think we've said this on the pod before. I think he's one of the best casted superheroes. Absolutely. I think Marvel has done a phenomenal job with everyone. I think everyone yeah. fits their role almost perfectly. I agree. But I think Paul Rudd is one of those top five of just who they are in the position and in the role. Yes. Um... But yeah, I, I don't know. I love Jonathan Majors. I think he's perfect for Kang. I Listen, really... I think he's going to do a great job with yeah. Kang. I just hope... Here's where I'm scared. Okay. 
This is the first big introduction to Kang, the 100%. next big bad in the MCU. This movie not necessarily fails. If this movie isn't good in the audience's eyes, come on. But this is just... So here's my That's thing, That's where though. I'm scared. But, and yes, but like we've had movies before where like one person did better than the rest of the people. So as long as Jonathan Major's Kang works out and the rest of the You're movie's right. not good, You're right. we'll be fine. Yeah. Doctor Strange and uh, you know, and, and Scarlet Witch, still good characters, but not the best movie. Right. Doctor Strange wasn't the best movie, right. but right. they're still good characters. Like, I'm not fuck. I'm done with them. I'm right. good with them taking a break. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not like, I don't ever want to see Scarlet Witch again because, bro, she absolutely balled out. So I absolutely. definitely want to see her again going up against a big bad. Yeah. And getting waxed by Doctor Doom or someone like that. <laughs> For sure. But my my thing is more what comes now. Because as much as Jonathan Majors is your big bang, when is Doctor Doom coming? When are we finally getting a Doom? When are we finally getting Wolverine in the MCU? When are we... This next step needs to happen. And they teased it in Phase 4, but Phase 4 did not give us any big boulders of, all of right, mutants. we're moving, we're mo you know what I mean? We're finally getting to that point, it's yeah. about to happen, you know? It's about to happen, right, right. Like, Phase 4 was, and I like Phase 4, don't get me wrong, I think everyone's shitting on it, and it's like, bro, again, I make this comment every time. As fans, we have to stop complaining. When Marvel makes 10, 15 bad movies and TV shows in a row... Mm. Let's all do it. Let's all jump on it. Sure. But it, that hasn't I've been I've watched case, three Star Wars movies in a row that were not great. Yeah. W one was good. One was eh. One was eh. Yeah, yeah. So don't come at me and say, well, the content's not there. It's there. Phase 4 was fine. It was fine. thought it, it was, was all right. It was fun. Not... Definitely more misses than hits. 60 to 80. Sure. It's living in there. Shang-Chi sure. was probably your best movie. Uh, Eternals was probably your worst. Spider I actually kind of like Eternals, to be honest with you. But but most people would say Eternals was yes, bad. Yes. I I enjoyed Doctor Strange personally. I thought it was fine. I thought it was I, good I, too. I, a lot of people shit on it. I thought it was fine. No, I so, thought it was good. Too. Again, like She Hulk, we talked about, right? Ooh. It had good. It had really high ups, but its downs were down. Big Same downs, thing with yeah. the TV shows. You know, I mean, I liked. Bucky, uh, Captain, uh, Falcon and Winter I liked Soldier. Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah. I liked all the shows. I really did. I enjoyed most of them. Yeah. So, I loved Hawkeye. Shout out Jeremy Renner, by the way. Yeah, crazy. Shout we out haven't spoke. We haven't Renner. talked about that. We but like yeah. crazy, dude. Awesome, awesome shit. But again, big Hawkeye fan, as you know. Yeah. But that's where I'm like Phase Five. This is a big start, of course. But, yeah. but think about it. This is how we're starting Phase Five, technically, which is great. But. Do you think they'd give us a mids movie? No. Like, no. like I think it'll be in the 70s, the 80s. It might not be perfect. Yeah. But I, I really don't think we can sit there and say they're going to, oh, my, we're going to look at that and be like, oh, that was not great. Right. right. I, I don't think they can. And if they do, then, then we can sit there and say, oh, all right, what? Because what's next? Uh, Guardians. Guardians is next. Well, which, are you talking about shows too? No, uh, well, show wise, is it. Uh, Secret Invasion. That's next? That's next. That's the next show coming out. When is Secret Invasion? Uh, I don't think they even have a full release date. But when's Guardians? Guardians is in May or something like that. Oh, wow. I, I don't even know when the fuck it is. I don't yeah. know what date, time, year. We're getting I, a Secret Invasion trailer uh, on the Super Bowl. We're getting a... Mando trailer today. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Also... Mm. Bad Batch is fucking cool. Oh, that the season two Bad just Batch came out with that cool. too. That's Got right. Three episodes in, I've watched the first two. I didn't watch the third one. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Fuck you guys if you don't like Star Wars <laughs> piece of shit. But uh, no, but and well, Madam Web just wrapped too, right? Did you see that? Yeah, I Adam saw Web. their new logo that they yeah, got cool. going for it. It's cool. cool. It's listen. Cool. I am all for this. I am all for this. Listen, we're getting the content. And, That's but here's, what matters. Here's the thing that people need to realize really quickly before we get on to the main topic because my ADD will just continue to fucking derail this entire <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Comic books. Yeah. What was the awesome thing about comics? There were so many fucking people involved. Oh, yeah. You had this comic book, you had that comic book, you had this group that was a million people, you had this group. Yeah. There was so much content, and when you looked at it in the 90s and the 2000s and the 2010s, you were like, there's no way we'll ever get all of this on screen. Like, right. there's no way, right? Like, we looked at the original cast of the Avengers, and we're like, that's the most we're ever right. going to get. Right, everyone we're was mind-blown. We're never going to get that many of them on screen together then you, ever then again. Then we got Endgame. Infinity War, then we got Endgame. Yeah. So... 
this is just how it's going to go. There is going to be bads and there's going to be goods. Sure. But the really cool thing is we're seeing Cassie Lang. Lang. Yeah. We're seeing Haley Steinfeld's um, uh, Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop. Yeah. We're seeing Scarlet Witch's kids. We're seeing. Yeah. So we're seeing the Young Avengers take mold. Yeah. We're seeing the um, the uh, who's uh, Hydra's um, the um, Thunderbolts. We're seeing the oh, Thunderbolts yes. are yes. coming together. Yeah. We're seeing. So we're seeing so many things take place right now. Yeah. But we're still complaining. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Where, know like, what you mean. that's I know where you mean. we have to stop. Yeah. We we just got a Black Panther movie that set us up for the future of Black Panther. Again, sadly enough, it's not the way that it was supposed to go. Right. A hundred percent. Yeah. But they're doing it this way now. But we got how many new introduction of how many new characters? We got Thanos' brother. We got um what was it? Hornet as uh he's um Oh, Yellow Jacket as Yellow Jacket a Modoc. as a Modoc. Modoc now. That's you know that, what I mean. See, that's interesting. Interesting. To me. So, yeah. but that's where it's like we are finally. Jonathan Majors Kang is, in my opinion, going to be that domino. But I'm very intrigued to see what they do next because the other thing that's been bothering me is I'm excited for all of it, but yeah. Fantastic Four is putting my mind in a blender. Yeah, it's because you keep they're a little hearing. Too quiet well, you about keep it. hearing that all these different rumors. Well, who did they say the newest one? The guy from Adam you? Driver. Well, they said, um, and then they originally said the guy from you yeah, too. Uh, they said I um, the actor's name. Quinn Bagley, I think, right? Is uh, it something? Pen Badger. Pen Badger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said he's apparently going to be Mister Fantastic. Then they said Adam Driver. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind Adam Driver. I agree with you. Didn't we say Doctor Doom? I, I think, think Adam Driver is Doctor Doom. Doom. I still think. We could put Miles Teller as Doctor Doom, and I think it would be awesome. I think that would I be I think cool Miles too. Teller as a young Doctor Doom would be so cool. Yeah. And then you do something to fucking, like, scar him and make him, like, super evil. Mm-hmm. I think... And then, again, it would be so nice for the people, like, that get that low-key, oh, well, he was... A, he, was he, was, he was Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, you know? right, right. So, Absolutely. Like, again... It, there's a lot of exciting stuff. This year, I don't know if you saw, I got to find the TikTok. My buddy sent it to me. Yeah. In From May to June or May to July this year, the movies we're getting. I think I did see that TikTok. Insane. I know. I know. Insane. It's going to so be So we big, are going to keep year. you guys super busy with that. Yeah, show. yeah. But which is great because, I mean, there's just, there's so much content. And we're getting a new Bond soon. I know, I heard Aaron that. Aaron Taylor Johnson, you hear that? Yeah, I did Possibly. hear about that. I don't mind that. I don't, I don't mind that. You did you watch of... Bullet Train? No, I haven't. I tried to sit down and watch it the other day. It's not Kayla's type of movie. So <laughs> you know what? I actually did put it, because it just got on Netflix. Yes, I did correct. try to put it on, and I fell asleep. I watched uh, Glass Onion, too. We're Glass Onion was really it. good. I liked it. Got, the first one was better. Yes. Knives Out was better. Yes. Glass Onion, I knew who it was from, like, the gets. Me, like, too, I wasn't dude. Really, yeah, I knew. But that's, like, I'm also... Kayla hates watching movies with me because I am very good at finding that shit out very well. Oh, yeah. I'm very good at, like, we'll watch shit, and she's like, how the fuck did you know that? I'm like, yeah, like yeah. off, off rip. I know <laughs> like, off rip. And she's like, how the fuck did you know that? What did we just watch? Oh, The Pale Blue Eye on Netflix. Christian Bale. You're not watch the it. only one that watch told me. Matt Kazemski told watch me to watch it, it too, and he watch really it. liked it. So fucking good. Yeah, I love I'm Christian Bale. I'm a huge Christian Bale me guy. Too. I'm a huge like Civil War era. It's it's beautifully Is that shot. What it's... it's I think it's like yeah Civil War era. It's yeah. uh, at West Point, so it's held at West Point. There's okay. a murder at West Point with Edgar Allan Poe as like the side character, oh. which is really cool. I don't know the Edgar Allan Poe's actor's name, but he did a fantastic job. Christian Bale did a fan. It is. Amazing. I, I loved every second of it. It was a fun watch if you like that kind. It's going to be a slower burn, sure. but it's very interesting to watch it from start to finish. Unfold. Because of how you watch it, you're all the whole time you're watching for it, and then when it ends, you're like, wow. Yeah. Like, I even got duped, and I was like, fuck, man. Like, <laughs> I was so pissed because I followed it the whole time, and I was like, I know who the fuck it is. And it was that, and I was like, Boo, perfect. And then it threw me for a loop at the end, and I was like, fuck, man, damn it. Yeah. But yeah, I, I love those kind of movies. The yeah. ones that get you, and you're like, I thought, like, that get you at the end, and you're like, shit, you know? But there's a lot to look forward to, bro. Oppenheimer, I'm hyped about. Yeah. I can't, I can't wait. That shit's going to be insane. Yeah, I know. It's Imagine be really that was a, good. A, like a bad movie. It won't I can't be. see it. Won't it. Be. I can't it, see it. I mean, it's a Nolan movie, so it's above a seventy on absolutely, lock. It absolutely. Be, it, could, it could be the biggest pile of shit ever. It'll still be, be a, a seventy. 70. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, right. 
But um, all right, well, I'll, I'll let us. Yeah, we, we did board a, the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we did a lot of catching up there. <laughs> we haven't seen each other, so we just I wanted know. to yell at each other for a few minutes. <laughs> ah! uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> Um, all right, guys, we are going to get into our uh, main topic here, which is what I said before, the top five 3D movies of all time. Um, like I also said before, it's going to be a more nostalgic type of thing for me, uh, as I don't really watch 3D movies anymore. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but when I was a kid, I was fascinated by it, so I did watch some. <laughs> exactly right. Um, so, uh, back and forth, or you want to do, well, do, uh, do it this do time? Let's do 5 4 5 4 3 2 3 2 1 1. 1 1. Yep. Got it. Do it that way. All right. My number five. This is a terrible movie, but it was fun to watch in 3D, and that was Piranha. 3D. I was going to put it on my list. I'm not going to lie to you. I did not put it on my list, but um, everyone, I won't say um, the other one because I don't know. I'll look over at yours really quickly. Just the bottom part? No. So if you ever watched um, what? My Bloody Valentine. Do you I remember that, that one? It was the horror movie that was out when we were in like high school or something like that. But it, it was like a minor, he was like a minor, and it was, I'd have to show you a picture, but My Bloody Valentine was the, um, was the one that was very fun. That was, it was like a big 3D movie in oh, high was school it? for us. Yeah, everyone was like obsessed with it. Kind I don't of even thing. remember that. I yeah. definitely didn't see yeah. it before. It was, it know. was interesting. Um, um, but per Piranha 3D was good. I'm pretty sure that was the one that was at the water park. Yes, um, correct. Yeah, yeah. And uh, because I seen, I'll be honest with you, I was a big Piranha fan. Like, I loved how stupid it was, to be honest with you. Like, it kind of reminds me of, like, a Sharknado sort of deal, that type of movie. Yeah. And, um... It walked so Sharknado could run. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just fun. Definitely a terrible movie, but it was just fun. So that was my number five. I had to add it in there. Uh, my number four is actually my only, like, I guess you could say serious one out yeah. of the rest of my list. And that was the original Avatar. Yeah. Now... Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Avatar, but it was visually oh, stunning. Cool. Yeah, I mean... Um, and, you know, we talked about it on the pod about yeah. the new one, how we're both not even planning on seeing I, it yeah, yeah. and whatnot, whatever. Everyone that I've seen talk about it says it's great. Like, everyone is saying they love it. It's the I opposite don't, for me. I don't really. Yeah. So I don't want to be that guy hmm. and say that we're better than all of you. Because we're not. <laughs> but... It's not that we're better, it's just that we know more. No. Um, <laughs> it's, I always make, no, but like it's always funny to talk to people, right? Because like, we've been doing this now long enough that I don't consider yeah. us experts to any degree. Because again, we're going to have, I like Star Wars more than a normal person would. Someone that likes other movies is going to like other movies more than I like Star Wars. And you know, be like, oh, well, you like Star Wars, so it doesn't count. Or Marvel or whatever. Right. But I always get a kick out of the people that, like, enjoy movies, right? Because some people just go to the movies four times a year and they see those big blockbusters. Yeah, and that's that it, everyone else you know? sees. Exactly. Yep. And they're like, oh, I loved Avatar. But, like, they didn't really watch it and they didn't really know the story and they hadn't seen the first one since whenever. And they, yeah. they don't really care. And for us, I feel like we immerse ourselves in this culture of movies and cinema so much more that, like, that's when we, when we see an Avatar 2 and a 3 and a 4 and a 5 and a 6 coming out, we're like, okay. But, again, we are also the wrong people to talk about that because we're in, so involved in Marvel and so involved in Star right, Wars, where right. Avatar is trying to build that. Exactly. And I get that. Exactly. And I respect the beauty of it and I respect that. Yeah. But there's just something about it that I don't like. And it might be the 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 general desire to want to be so of involved. The part of the of, that like, bandwagon. Like, I don't of... I've never watched Frozen because everyone's like, You gotta watch Frozen, it's right. the best thing ever. Right. And I've heard it's amazing and I know I would like it. Yeah. But like a part of me corny enough now is like I'll wait until I have a kid and then sure. I'll watch it and I'll probably sure. love it. But like you know, it, it's just funny to watch how so many people, and that's weird that you said it, because I've, I've seen on my Instagram, I've seen on my, like, talking to people, they're like, dude, Avatar was so good. Avatar 2 was so good. And I'm like, okay. Jesse okay. could not stand it. <laughs> Jesse couldn't stand it. Did and he like the first one? Uh, no, he didn't like the yeah, first well, one okay. either. Well, that well, that makes more sense, that's right? That's tough. That's tough but, if you go in and you don't like, because I liked the first, like, I'm a hater, but, like, the first one was fine, right? No, was it, like, was okay, fine. it was good. I just like, think it was way too overhyped. Uh, but, but the reason why it was overhyped is because of the the visuals and everything like that it was um 
it was one of its kind at, so at that here's, time. So here's my other question. I don't want to go down like a crazy rabbit hole right now, but like, fuck it, why not? Um, do you think the media was pumping that to us? And when I say that, I'm saying there's a lot of other movies that get absolutely no marketing. And and that's part of how movies work. Yeah. You have to put money behind marketing. Of like course. Pale Blue Eye didn't get much marketing. It got a decent amount, but Avatar was on your screen every two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Disney and Netflix are different things. But with the original Avatar, it was prior to the Twitter and the TikTok and the everything hype. So yeah. where did that hype come from? Again, we've always had movies that have been those guys who were like, oh my God, I can't wait from the TV and the whatever. Yeah. Part of Avatar was the visually stunning, the money that it cost. When you heard the money that was put in it, you were like, oh my God. Yeah. Everything yeah. was CGI. Everything was this. So you're like, oh my God. But is part of it that, again... Disney controls a lot of that stuff, so it is very interesting to think, like, is the movie better because Disney's making so many people watch it, which is averaging out the score better? Because mm. if you only have 100 people watch a movie, and 50 and 50 don't like it and like it, that's that's 50%. Right. If you have 100,000 people watch and it... And it was still that 50-50, that's still great, exactly. because a lot of people still really liked it. Or, if you have so many people watch it, but the demographics are younger people and older people, and the older people liked it because they're like, oh my god, I've never seen anything like this, and the younger right. people are like, oh my god, I've never seen anything like this... If you hit the right demographics of people, because again, you're going to have a lot of movie people that see it, but like, you know, they're going to be like, oh, well, I liked The Whale better, or I liked yeah. other movies that are more serious, right? Um, that, that they enjoyed more than Avatar, but Brendan Fraser's winning all these awards for The Whale, but nobody gives a fuck. And, and not in a bad way. I love, I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see it. It's going to break my heart, I've heard. I've heard it's I know. unreal. Yeah, uh -huh. But. If you talk to your mom and dad, do they know what the whale is? No. Do they know what Avatar 2 is? Absolutely. 100%. If you 100%. ask your grandma, if you ask your brother, if you ask your cousin, if you ask your students, yep. every single person you talk to is going to know what Avatar 2 is. Yeah. And yeah. that's part of the marketing behind Disney and how they've become. Yeah. But when it comes to other really good movies, what is the um, the movie that's winning all the uh, the A24 movie that's winning everything? Uh, Not um, everything, everywhere, all yes. at once, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think our parents have a clue what's going on? No, I do. Do you think that's a better movie than Avatar? Thousand percent. Yeah. Thousand percent. Yeah, yeah. But who's gonna vote that? Who's gonna vote that a better movie? Avatar, a better movie? Every ninety percent of the population, sure. because the the blue people were so cool. Yeah. Well, I think the big thing is that everyone wants to get on the bandwagon of liking it yeah, or just seeing yeah. it in general. Well, it's it's like know? it's FOMO. It's FOMO a hundred. Right? It's, fo it's FOMO. It's like if you don't see Avatar, like or if you like same thing with like certain Marvel movies. Yeah. Black Panther. If you didn't see Black Panther, it's like well, you didn't see it, Black Endgame, Panther. Endgame, like Endgame, yeah. Infinity War. Yeah. A lot of these movies, like the Schneid it, to a degree, if it's a little bit more of a tweak, but like Snyder Cut. If you didn't see Snyder Cut and you were like a superhero person, they were like, You didn't watch Snyder yeah, Cut. Yeah, yeah, right. Again, you're right there. Yeah. Not for everyone, not but for everyone. Mm -hmm. There's certain movies like Star Wars. If you didn't see the new Star Wars when it come out, Episode Seven, Force right. Awakens, everyone was like, "Well, you didn't see the new Star Wars? It's everywhere. Everyone's seen it, you know." Yep, yep. So, and that was just kind of my rabbit hole of like, uh, you know, I, I like to think about stuff like that. It's like, you know, again, you're not gonna get a twenty four money. You're, no, you're not gonna no. get that kind of a budget behind a movie anywhere, anytime, always, or you know, whatever. Yeah. Compared to the Avatar two, it's just. No, it's, not it's, it's unreal. It's, it's not extremely happen. unreal. And again, I'm going to probably eventually see Avatar two, and it's going to look Disney awesome, Plus. and it's going to look beautiful. <laughs> That's exactly. what I'm watching yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, and like you know, my fiance will probably like it, and it'll probably be fine. But like, you know, again, I'm going to see 15 other movies that are going to be so much better, and I'm oh, going to yeah. I'm going to recommend yeah. the Pale Blue Eye more because it was a more interesting movie to me for sure. But. Again, to each their own, because I'm also sitting here talking about Marvel and Star Wars on a 24-hour basis, and people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right, right. You know, no, so. you're right. Uh, you know, at least we're aware of yeah, this. Yeah, we're aware. You know, oh, we're, aware. Aware. we're I, aware of that. I yeah. still watch The Walking Dead. <laughs> I'm aware that I'm a psychopath. <laughs> like, what? You know, it's about a... You have to be aware, though. Like, I always say, it's like, you if you're if you're trying to sit here and die on a certain hill, it's like, you have to know when, like... 
you're backed in that corner and you're like, it is for sure. Is. I'm, I'm beat, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. But it is what it is. Um, so, all right, that was my five and four. Piranha 3D right. and the original Avatar. All right, so my five is Gravity. That sounds very... Was, was that with the, Clooney? Um, uh, uh, was Sandra Bullock and Clooney, right? Yes, it yes, was, yes. Yeah. So, um, I saw it and I hate space, so that was why it was my number five, because absolutely fuck that. Stunning visually... It was beautiful. It was awesome. Yeah. But fuck that. I hate. So space. you don't like space. I hate. It scares the shit out of me. Space you had in the to, deep. But you loved Interstellar, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Space yeah. and the deep ocean scare the fuck out of me. But did you still like the movie Gravity, even yeah. though it was in space? Yeah. You just liked it, the three D aspect yeah. of it. Well, I didn't. I hate three D, so no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, okay. But like yeah. visually, it's like it's a stunning movie. So yeah, it's like in three D, of course, that. it was. Yeah, exactly. It was yeah, great. Gotcha. Um, and then Toy Story three. Ooh, I didn't even so see Toy that. So Toy Story in 3D. three was three D. I saw it regular and then I saw it three D. Yeah. Again, it, it Toy Story three was a, a fantastic movie that not enough people talk about how good it was, in my opinion. Oh, dude, it's it the, was. I think it's the best one. I think, like nostalgia wise, it's one, three, two, four. Mine would be three, one, but two, four. Yeah, but but that's the thing. It's like I would switch three and one. On any type of a basis, because again, three we saw when we were old. So it. Yeah. Have you seen the conspiracy with Toy Story? It was uh, that when it was made, it, every year, every time of it was like important oh, when, in our lives. When Andy, whatever yeah, age so Andy like, was, we were. We were. For like when us, it first came out. Exactly. Yes, so then, like yes. when the third one came out, we were getting rid of our toys because we were high schoolers at that yeah. point. And we were moving on to that next step they of going did it to so college. Perfectly. Perfectly. They perfectly. Did it perfectly. Um, but yeah, dude, that that's why like for me, three and one could switch, but one just like I remember seeing Toy Story for the first time and like it just plays in my head, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, that's where a part of me is like, I don't know if I could ever like Swap them, but three is so good. I remember so crying good. in high school in the oh, theater. Dude, I think we what? saw that movie together. We I'm might almost have. positive we, we saw have. that movie together, and yeah. I think we cried. So yeah, that's was... when, when the boys are crying and kissing, that's when you know it's real. <laughs> you know, when, when the boys are kissing on the mouth crying, that's when you but know. But we didn't see that in 3D when we saw it. No, right? no, no. We I saw did. it a separate time. Okay, like, yeah. I went afterwards in 3D. Isn't it interesting? Like, what? Well, where do you think the stance of 3D is now with most people? Money. Well, no, no, just, no, no, oh, well, well, no. Well, I'm saying, like, do you think people prefer to see it in 3D rather than regularly? Because no. most movies are in 3D still. They just the, the, the promotion isn't there for it anymore because it's I, not as hyped as I when do it first not came out. Think, let me. I do not think that at all. No, I don't I, think, think I don't think so either. I, I think, think people would rather see it regularly than 3D. I agree, 3D. thousand percent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you about to put that up too? Mm -hmm. Nice, very nice, very nice. Um, but yeah, I like most movies that are like a spectacle in a sense and are like a franchise. Most of them will be it, there. Will be 3D versions of them, but they're just not promoted on commercials or anything like that. But the option is there on the ticket website. And that so, but that's where, like I've said, like I, if you've ever seen, I don't know if you've ever seen like Dolby stuff, but that's I have. I've you, never been to you a need Dolby to see cinema. a Dolby cinema movie. It's yeah, I've never fantastic, been fantastic, dude. So, see IMAX, but that IMAX and three D, those were the extents. Yeah, of Dolby, a Dolby like original D or whatever it is, is yeah. is so good. Where, um, where, where's the nearest? I think in theater. Paramus, maybe Paramus. or in. Um, yeah, I think in per Paramus or maybe like Woodbridge. I don't even know. Yeah, I need um, to look that up. Okay, so we are rocking right now with 60-40 on no and yes. Okay. 60 is no, 40 yeah. is yes. Yeah. So we're we're doing okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We need a couple more yeses in there. When this releases, make sure to go to the story and... Uh, Vote on yes if you like chocolate Twizzlers, and please don't make me look like an ass. <laughs> but whatever. Um, but all right, cool. We'll do your three and your two now. Did you do two of them? Oh, yeah, you did, did Toy, yeah, Story yeah, and, Toy, Story Toy Story 3 and, and uh, Gravity. Uh, Gravity. Correct. Okay. Um, all right, now we're really getting into the nostalgia feels here with my next two. Um, and they're two very similar movies. I'm pretty sure they were, they were made by the same production company and everything. My number three is The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Um, I love that movie. It was so like you watch that now. It's like oh, this is the corniest terrible, thing ever. Terrible. Like what's that guy? Taylor Lautner, right? Yes. It's so, like how how could he even watch himself in that movie? Oh, He'd dude. probably die. Um, but 
I, that movie was so nostalgic for me nowadays. Like, there were great parts in it, like, that you enjoyed as a kid. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, come on, like, George Lopez as the big-headed robot guy. So like, funny. Come on. That's Meme Central that's and Metal Live. That's MODOK. Yeah. That's that's MODOK. I've been seeing memes everywhere about yeah, that. Yeah, it's like the new that MODOK being... looks crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, and it's George Lopez. Um, <laughs> but, you know, th those... When 3D first came out, like, this movie was... 100% made specifically for well, 3D. 3D. 3D was literally meant for, like, that, us. It was meant yeah. for, like, we were evolving in cinema as kids, and it was like, what's the next big money grab? It's the same thing with toys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Action figures and Barbie dolls were crazy, and then, like, when Star Wars, like, all right, what do we need next? We need life-size lightsabers. We need everyone to have lightsabers. Right. Now look at how lightsabers sell. Yeah. Disney has a whole fucking thing at the parks that you can create your own. Which yes. I will 100% do even as a 27 to 30 year old man. <laughs> so I don't care. Whatever. Don't give a shit. But do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 3D was that thing. And now it's funny because it is cool to think, though, that they haven't taken another step. Well, like, I, we think, I get... think 3D has definitely progressed heavily. Oh, a thousand since percent. Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava. But what, but what I'm saying is, is like we went from regular to 3D, then we went from 3D to IMAX and IMAX yeah. to Dolby and Dolby to surround sound. Yeah. But we never went to like 7D, where the thing, the seat throws you out of it. Right. You know what I mean? Like we never, you as know, much as 4D and things like that right. came into the picture. Yeah. I don't. For imagine if 4D took the scene, how 3D did. That you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if 4D was every movie was all oh, getting a 4D, every getting a 4D, getting a... Yeah. Where 3D, when 3D came out, bro, it was everywhere. everywhere. Every movie was getting 3D, bro. Mm -hmm. It was like Saving Private Ryan was 3D. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But just in general, it's like, you don't need every movie to be 3D, yeah. and I think the the I think the media, prop, like, you know, the, the industry probably saw it and was like, we're doing crazy numbers. As time went on, though, they saw it was going up, and then it plateaued, and then it started and to then dip. And they were like, yeah. all right, like, everyone is complaining they don't like their glasses. Everyone's complaining they have to return the glasses. Everyone's, you know, back, back, remember when we were back in the day, you used to return them? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Imagine in a COVID time, returning your glasses. Yeah, hell no. Well, was, you, I mean, you just throw them out now. Yeah, or you they, keep them, or, yeah, or, or you, you keep know, them, whatever, but, but no, yes, but, like, you had to return you them. You had to return them, and that. they would clean them, and yeah. then you'd redistribute them. Yeah, I don't even... But that's the thing, you know? Like, yeah, I don't know. But it's so I funny to anymore. think. I mean, it's it's hilarious to think. But it, I'm very happy that media has not turned into, like, going and finding a new, um, like, a new median for, like, a crazy I type agree. Of movie, I agree. I mean? I'm so curious how 4D theaters work. Because they're out there, dude. Think they just pump it in and shit? Like, they just pump in the... Like the, the like smell vision or whatever. and everything yeah, like that and used like to be a thing too stuff back like in that. The day. Yeah, remember? Um, yeah, that's like that was like an old time thing. Was that though. A, Was there one at Six Flags? Was there something at Six Flags? They had 4D? the SpongeBob thing. Yeah, that was four D, where the seats were moving. But wasn't there like mist and then like a smell or a sound or I don't know. No, I think that's Disney. I think you're thinking Disney I as far know, as that. Probably. Yeah. Know. Anyway, rest in peace, Splash Mountain. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. That's and right. March or something like that. Yeah, and they're making Princess and the Frog yes, with that. Yeah. Also, speaking of Super Nintendo World, just opened up. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm hyped, but like it shouldn't be called Super Nintendo World. It should be called Super, Super Mario, Mario World. World. Like, yeah. where's where's Hyrule there's Castle? No, where's well, Kirby's no, Dream Land? There's like, no other. There's no. Other, there's no other IP besides Mario. Yep. And so how are you like gonna wire. call it Super Nintendo? Hopefully, they make expansions, <laughs> bro. <laughs> look at how excited he just got. Dude, right? I mean, I, look I at I how love, excited he just. I got love right? amusement parks. <laughs> we need to like, pin I that video. Of, I, but we need to pin that video of how you just went from like you were just chilling and then you went, but yeah, Super yeah, Mario. I know, I know, I know. No, but I. That's my only complaint. No, I a thousand percent agree though like how are you gonna make a theme park about it and like like imagine star wars was just like disney other creation yeah that <laughs> yeah right right like literally star wars galaxy's edge like no disney expanded universe yeah yeah like come on what? Right? how are you gonna call it you that? know like that would really like what was uh what is it the marvel feathers. campus or whatever you know yeah. like imagine they were just like you know extended universe of imagine disney. it's just new york and it's just all spider-man themed new like, york that would be, that, that, yeah yeah that would be basically the same thing with but yeah no I, I a thousand percent agree with you though it's like i have been watching videos it looks amazing it looks so cool 
It does uh, look sick. The power-up bands look with really the, cool. With yep. the watch thing, You can yeah. buy different ones. I think they're $50 each, which is like, that's fine. Yeah. Again, we're we're going to... I can't wait to the point where we have kids and we're taking them to music. I know, so It's dude. like, Jesus Christ, bro. I just spent two grand on popcorn. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so giant dumb. turkey legs. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the turkey you have to kill yourself now. You pay <laughs> yeah. $85 to do it. It's like... It's okay. the full immersive experience. Yeah, oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Oh, my God. Um, anyway, so, yeah, that Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl was number three. Yep. My number two, which is in the similar theme, uh, Spy Kids 3D Game yep. Over. I think that's ten times better than Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Oh, I, yeah, thought, I thought the whole Shark... I mean, Shark Boy and Lava Girl only had one movie. Actually, yes. no, two movies. There was a follow-up like, on two, Disney But, like, it was really only... Let's just say one. Yeah, like, it yeah was let's just say one. with a... Oh, like, there's a Bambi 2, right? Yeah, right, right, yes, I see your point. There's a Lion King too, right? I see your point, yes. Yeah, yeah, we only acknowledge the one. Yes, right. (laughs) Um, But Spy Kids 3D was such a fantastic movie. I loved it. I loved how it was based solely on uh, the younger brother trying to save the sister in the video game world. I thought that I thought I thought it was just awesome. Yeah, great movie, and it was a fun time. It was a fun time, and the 3D was fun, like. I loved in that movie where it's like, all right, you got to put on your video game glasses to help me out here. Or like, they, like nope. a sign would pop up in the movie theater, like, all right, time to put on the glasses. Yep. That was no, one of the was... only movies where immersive. it let you it's know. Yep. Yeah, but it let you know when to take a break from the glasses. Yep. And that yeah. helped out a lot. That was smart. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was super smart. smart. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's my number two, Spy Kids 3D. Okay, cool. So I have a, um, I have a, I have two ties on my list. My number one has a tie and my number three has a tie. So Jackass 3D mm. and Shark Boy and Lava Girl are my tied for third. For third. Shark Boy and Lava Girl, same thing. Not a good movie, but like it was fun when we were kids. It yeah. was a good time. It was again that that exactly what 3D movies were supposed to be. Yeah. And Jackass 3D would be my number one. It is one of my favorite Jackass is my my favorite thing. Yeah. Do not try to take my thing. When we were younger, we created a Jackass Junior. I don't know if you remember this no, or not. No, I don't, no. So, me Jackass and my brother, Junior. Joe Labosco and Dondre Ellerman, create, oh, and boy. Nino and Nino, yeah. uh, we created Jackass Junior. So, it was basically, we did Jackass-like stunts, but, like, as kids. So, uh-huh. terrible idea, yeah. you know, as a 27-year-old, I look back now. <laughs> but, like, we basically, like, one of our funny stunts was, like, we were playing a game that you had to, if you lost whatever we were playing, we were playing like basketball, we were playing like skate, right? Something you had to do. If you lost, you had to go on. Nino had this giant tire swing in his backyard, this crazy big one. Mm-hmm. If you lost, you had to go on the tire swing for however many seconds were like decided. Yeah. And we had to shoot you with a paintball gun. Oh my God. So it was hilarious. That we is pretty it. funny. Oh yeah. my God. It was just, it was so funny. But Jackass was just such a good time. Ja- I, I look back and like remember watching Jackass on road trips. I remember watching it on my iPod. Yeah. I remember watching it in a movie theater. I remember watching it in like. On my, you know, my computers, just such a good time, Jackass 3D. So Jackass was also a movie that we we could put on like when you're watching you with put a group it on of friends anytime. and have a great put time. Put it on with your family and they'd get a laugh out of it for the most part, right? Like certain people would be like, ah, oh, that's disgusting. But like yeah. put it on with your friends, put it on with your family, put it on with anyone and they'll be like, My dad's got that kind of humor, so like I'll oh, put absolutely. it on for my dad, my dad would yeah. be like, Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> my mom would be like, Oh god, that's gross, <laughs> you know. Yeah, right. Um but it, it's just that so good. So the two of those were my three, and then my two is Avatar. You know, again, mm. it, it, Avatar is is up there. I hate. I, I I don't like 3D movies. So like for me, this does not matter. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, I knew it. I knew that movie had to pop up on both of their lists. But I'm actually surprised with how close it is to your one. To again, I don't. I don't like. 3D movies, so right, as neither. much as right. as much as I don't like it, I can't put it at five because again, it's visually stunning. Yeah. So it's like yeah. the whole point of 3D is for you it gotta to be put good. some respect. It doesn't on it, add so. to the storyline; it just makes right. it look better. Right. So when we're talking about 3D movies, I'm not necessarily looking for the storyline because right. we have not, Jackass, not, uh, Shark Boy, Oscar, and Lava yeah, Girl. Yeah, exactly. And, um, uh, you know, again, it's like you can't put Avatar on your list. For for me, I couldn't put it on my list and be like number five. And and then put Jackass 3D above it for the storyline aspect of it, you know? Right, right. Visually, it's a better 3D movie. It's On my list, it's the number one 3D movie. Yeah. yeah. In in visually, storyline, yes. everything. Yes, right. But for me, 
That's It'll not play, that's like, that's kind of not where the focus not is my for focus. this topic. Exactly. Right. Same Correct. here. So that's Same my here. number two. Okay. My number one is Jackass 3D. It's the most fun I've ever had at the movies that was a 3D movie. Oh yeah. So that's why it's my number one. Yep. I thought, and the best part is like they were so creative with using the yep. 3D in that movie, like with uh, Johnny Knoxville going uh, on the bike when he went on. Oh the no, bike. no no no! What was he, it? A uh, jet ski. Yeah, a jet ski flew and, up to the. And flew up like. There was some sick stuff they did with the yeah. 3D aspect. No, they were geniuses fantastic. for it, yeah. It was fantastic. Um, uh, R.I.P. Uh, uh, Ryan, Ryan Dunn. Dunn. Yep. Um, I hope uh, Bam gets better. I hope Same. he figures, Same. He figures yeah. everything out. Um, I would have loved to have, for him to have been in the newest one. Super Same here. Un super unfortunate, you know. I, yeah. I, I, that's, like, heartbreaking to see that it, it doesn't work like that. Obviously, you know, I don't know how much of it was right like we don't know how much of it was like his fault and not his fault yeah when absolutely. you're battling something like that it's tough but yeah. you know you have you have other people that were fighting those kinds of demons and stuff and they, and they were made able it through to do it yeah so you know ho hopefully obviously i'd love to see some kind of a reunion down the line absolutely. or whatever happens but uh you know definitely a, this is a bam bam support podcast so hopefully it's it better like that absolutely uh, and, and, and i will also say uh, uh regarding that as well like that's when the whole crew was together like i think jackass yep. 3d was like peak jackass time no, I think besides it was. like one and two like one i think but one was really good i thought it one was two was really but good. i i like three is is my favorite out of okay. the four movies I'll i think one, one is kind of similar to like toy story with nostalgia yeah. like it's definitely there like i remember watching that first jackass i was like i'm hooked i'm hooked this is, <laughs> yeah this is exactly the kind of media i want to watch for the rest of yes life, right you know? right at that time uh, exactly. that's how no, i was convinced yeah. i was like this is all this is the best cinema i'm ever gonna watch you know <laughs> Um, but no, I, I feel you there. I know what you mean with three and one. So yeah, the uh, Jack S 3D, my number one uh, favorite three D movie of all time. Cool. Yeah. Mine is uh, Snow Dogs. Was that three D? No, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. I w I dude, that could be a little believable to be honest with you. Maybe. Have you ever heard my Snow Dogs joke or no? Have, you ever have I not I heard your snow dog? Have you I'm pretty it? sure at what being so, Oscar worthy. Yes, correct. Yes, yeah, of course. Right. Yes, <laughs> it's my longest running joke. It's the, old, <laughs> the only thing I have left in my life. It's the only thing I have left is when I meet new people, I tell them that snow dogs won an Oscar. I'll just casually cake them up with conversation for like three to four hours, and then I'll be like, "Oh, like, what's your favorite Oscar movie?" And I'll be like, "I love when Cuba Gooding Jr. won for Snow Dogs," and like. It's always funny to get the reaction out of the person. Cause I mean, it's people, still funny to me. Oh, it's I've hilarious, heard it, dude. It hilarious. But it's always funny because it's like you'll watch some people that are like, yeah, dude, like I loved that. And they're like either it's because they don't have a fucking clue what I'm talking about right. or they're not trying to engage. Right, right. Or the people that are like, oh, my God, that's so cool. I had no clue. And it's like I got them. Hook, line, mm -hmm. and sinker. But um, – Mine is a tie between Scott, Spy Kids 3D. Mm -hmm. So, again, I loved Spy Kids 3D as a kid. It was yeah. an awesome time. I love all the Spy Kids movies. They were all good. Yeah. All good movies for what you know what they were what back they were. when we were watching them. They were a great time. Yeah. I loved you know, the watches, right? Yeah. Remember the McDonald's in the thing? Remember when they got the McDonald's out of the little microwave? Yes, yes. Made McDonald's in like two seconds. Like yep. You were watching that as a kid, and you were like, man, I'm so excited to get into my 20s. Yeah, like, right. This is what it's going to be like. Wasn't Antonio Banderas yes, the dad? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah, and, fantastic, uh, man. The thumb people, you're like, yo, these. People oh my are... god, I forgot about the freaking thumb people. Yeah. That's... Tell me, you didn't have someone at your college that looked like a thumb person. Uh, you did. Yeah, to, I had, had to. Have. Have. Had to. Have. Had to. Have. Had to. Have. Right. So that's my number one, <laughs> and then my my number one 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 A is Shrek. So Shrek in 3D. Oh, good one. So Shrek in 3D is my number one. I am a sucker for the movie Shrek. Absolutely love the movie. It's a running joke with me and my fiance that like whenever she leaves the room and if she leaves her like laptop unattended or like the TV unattended, I'll like go to Shrek and like put it on just oh, like yeah. at a random moment. I love the movie. I think it's so good. Like again, it did win the first Oscar ever for animated for film. Animated, yep. So I, I always tell people that too. And then after I pepper in the snow dogs, yeah. <laughs> they think I'm lying about Shrek, which yeah. makes it great. Cause then I'm like, no, like I'm serious about Shrek though. Yeah. And then they can never tell if I'm lying. Or what not, do I so. believe? Exactly. <laughs> so I'm just completely fucking with these people's brains. But, um, um, Shrek in 3D might have been like the first one I saw in 3D. If I like oh, remember okay. back correctly, I, I think I saw Shrek was similar to Toy Story. I think I saw it in regular, and then I went back and saw it in 3D yeah. with like my brother and my sister and like my family. I, I don't remember if that's 100 percent true. Mm. Um, but Shrek 3D, Shrek again, one of my favorite movies ever. 
I, uh, I, I would love for us to do, we would have to do it a while, but I was actually going to think about it with you. We should do a top 50 list of our favorite movies. Wow. Yeah. That's going to be a vibe. three hour podcast. Just vibe. Just I'm, vibe. I'm down for it. I was going to say we should, uh, we should do that. And then I actually was going to say that I think we should come up with a top 50 for the pod and be like, this is our 50 favorite movies from, from logging on. Logging on's 50, top 50. Oh, like ones we brought up in top five? Or, or just our favorite movies collectively, and we come up with a collective list of our top 50 oh, that we yes. release for people to look into and say, oh, I, I want like to watch that. that if I've never seen it. Yeah. That's almost like, that. that's like a whole episode plus like a blog post. You, literally, yeah. You know, yeah. right? Or yeah. we don't even need to blog it necessarily. We could just make a store, uh, a post on it and then be like 50 to 41. 40 yeah, to have episodes 30. of yeah. it on like TikTok or something. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We can, we can yeah. release it TikTok wise. We can break it down by our like every 10, every 10, every 10, every 10 of yes. the last ones. Yeah. But then we can have like an Instagram post about 50 to 41, 40 to with the 31 slides. with the slides yes. that work all the way down to the 10 to 1. I like that a lot. Yeah. So, all right. Stay tuned, motherfuckers. We'll do that. Two things I wanted to bring up about Trek. One, have you ever been on Trek 4D at yeah. Universal Studios? Yeah. Love that fucking Amazing ride. ride. I think they're actually closing it down. Yeah, I think so, and making something else. I, I could be wrong about probably that. Probably a Minions ride. Minions is already there, though. They'll probably make another one. Yeah, yeah, probably. Minions are taking over. And then uh, Puss in Boots too, guys. I heard it was amazing. I was so shocked and surprised amazing. of how good it was. I was reading a Reddit post the other day that was like, just in case you guys are curious, Puss in Boots was my favorite movie of the year. No <laughs> yeah, I mean, and some, someone literally was like, I'm not even kidding, it's the movie of the year. And I was like, no. I could see it winning Best Animated Movie of yeah, the I Year. Mean, yeah, probably will. What else does it go up against? Uh, I don't was really it know. Rise of Gru? Did Gru come out? Did yes, the yeah. Did Gru movies come out? Yeah, yeah Rise of Gru came that's out. That's tough, because those movies do great. Those they do. do really good. They, they do fan-wise, but critic-wise, I see Puss in Boots. It's winning, oh, taking yeah, the I cake. Heard, I heard it's amazing. It's great. It's I need great, to go dude. see it, honestly. It's already on, like, uh, I think you could buy it on, like, Paramount or something you like that. You could buy it anything. You're crazy. I don't know. Do, oh, do a little... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paramount Plus. Yeah. Um, all right, guys, you got anything else, sir? You got anything else to say before we close up? Nope. Let's get a Giants win. Uh, yeah. Hopefully the next time you see me, the Giants are Super Bowl champions. Oh, yeah. Uh, won't be the case, most likely. But uh, happy that the Giants are winning. Happy that Star Wars is out. Happy that The Last of Us is out. And uh, yeah. Happy we're getting a Mando trailer tonight. Happy Today's Mando a good day. trailer. Good day. good day. Good, solid day. Yeah. I, I've been watching a lot of good stuff. Nothing like amazing, but like a lot of decent TV. Good TV, decent TV. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm happy about that. Do yeah, I'm going to watch Last of Us today. Yep. It'll be good. Yeah. It'll be good. It'll be great. Um, all right, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok at Frank underscore videos. Uh, one other thing I'll say is that we have a fundraiser going on for yes. the Stephanie Nicole Par uh, Pars Foundation. Um, so please donate to that. It's a great cause, a great yep. mission. Uh, they they do so many great things, and you can learn more about it in the description below too. Yeah, definitely look into it. It's uh, it's 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 an it's a cra you know crazy story to read into, yes. and it's uh, it's an amazing foundation. We're we're happy to even be a part of helping it out and, and kind of working into it. So, uh, you yeah. know, if you watch us, support us, and you can help support, it's all we ask for. Absolutely. So. Um, all right, guys, with all that being said, have a wonderful day, and peace out. Absolutely. And oh. then and then I have a interesting question for you guys as well. I love that. Containing uh, alcohol. All right, number three. Let's pour it. I think this is the, oh, wait. the maple syrup one. Yes, I think so, too. It smells so good. It does smell good. I want to pour it over pancakes. This has got to be that one. We ready to try it out? Yeah. I'm in. All right. Cheers, boys. I'm having Cheers. so much fun right Merry now. Merry Christmas. This yeah. is awesome, guys. <laughs> that really, is so good. That's really pretty good. I would have this over breakfast. I'll tell you what. I was so worried about that one, thinking it was going to be way too sweet. Like, I get that. Like, terribly sweet. And it's really not at all. It's no. actually pretty enjoyable. It's a yeah, good no, dessert that's a beer. A good dessert beer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I get that. Mm -hmm. There are beers where literally I'll be like, all right, I'm going to finish my night out on these two. Yeah. Because this is this is my dessert. You know, I'm not eating or whatever. I'm going to have one of those for my dessert and see you later. Bye.